Okay, before we move on and I show you how to actually contact these video creators and offer them, you know, 10, 15 bucks in order to put your link in their video description, I want to show you how to get this information organized. Uh, you can certainly do this, you know, one at a time, but I like to record this data so that I'm not contacting the same video creator twice. And it's really handy to track this information uh, in a spreadsheet. You can use a Google spreadsheet and simply uh, get some columns going for the name of the video. In this case, it's 20 minute weight loss and fat burning yoga workout. Just go ahead and plop that in the spreadsheet. The URL, that's the link that is assigned to this YouTube video that you're gonna find in your browser window there. Go ahead and capture that and cut and paste it right into your spreadsheet. I like to put the uh, the date that it was created, June 12, 2011, and the total number of views. Uh, you can put those in separate columns here inside the spreadsheet. And last but not least, uh, you know, reserve a column for information on uh, contacting this, the date that you contacted this video creator, etc. So you can create a spreadsheet yourself using Excel or Google Drive. So you can create a spreadsheet easily yourself to record this data in every niche or, or per keyword using a Google Drive uh, or an Excel spreadsheet just like this. I actually have a uh, piece of software that actually pulls all this information from YouTube. This is a proprietary piece of software that I have, but it's basically the same information. It just saves me a ton of time. This one, for instance, is, is for the keyword yoga. This is the exact same search that I just did for you in real time over at YouTube. It just pulled all this information together instantly. Here's the title. Here's that Jillian Michaels title. Here's the URL. This is a very important column here. Uh, the description. Is there a, a, a link already loaded up inside the video description? If, this, if the answer is yes, like this one, I don't even mess around with it and I don't, I don't look any further into these videos. However, if, it's, if uh, there's no link according to this data, I'm going to take each and every one of these URLs and plug it into my browser and check to see if it's appropriate. I can also check total number of views and comments, etc. And I like to, you know, keep track of my uh, contact information in a in a new column here. So this is what I use. Uh, but there's no reason why you can't simply do a manual search. It will simply it will take a little bit longer for you to do. That's what I use, and you can record all your information in some sort of spreadsheet. I'll see you in the next video and I'm going to show you how to contact these video creators.